Earlier, there were reports about the participation of India's Tejas and the China-Pakistan jointly developed JF-17 Thunder in the Philippines' multirole fighter jet MRF, acquisition process. However, no official statements were released from any of the parties involved. Nonetheless, in July 2022, the Philippine Air Force PAF, officially announced that it had narrowed down its options to the F-16 and the Saab JAS-39 Gripen for the competition. In 2021, the United States presented Manila with an offer for 12 new F-16 Block 70s, priced at around $2.43 billion. However, this proposition was dismissed by former Philippine National Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana due to its perceived high cost, prompting the exploration of alternative options. The country's plans to acquire multi-role fighters MRFs, and recent developments in the West Philippine Sea WPS, were some of the topics discussed by Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, Chief General Romeo Bronner Jr. and Sweden Ambassador Annika Thunborg following their meeting Friday. The CSAFP, Chief of Staff AFP, and Ambassador Thunborg discussed the acquisition of multi-role fighters and the recent developments in the West Philippine Sea. The ambassador likewise expressed that Sweden stands firmly behind the Philippines in the protection of its territory and territorial integrity, as well as the international rules-based order and the 2016 Arbitral Award. AFP Public Affairs Office Chief Lieutenant Colonel Enrico Gil Ailedo said in a statement. The meeting took place at the AFP headquarters in Camp Aguinaldo, Quezon City. Sweden's Saab JAS-39 Gripen is considered one of the top two contenders for the Philippine Air Force's MRF acquisition project, with the other jet fighter being the U.S. Lockheed Martin F-16B Viper. During the meeting, the two officials also discussed the modernization of the AFP and the role of like-minded nations both in building a credible armed force for the Philippines and in pursuing the rules-based international order in the WPS. In their exchanges, General Bronner Jr. also expressed his hope that China will cease its illegal activities in the West Philippine Sea and that the Philippines has a right to maintain the integrity of BRP Sierra Madre, Ailedo said. Bronner also said that the AFP will not allow China to dictate what to do on the outpost, which symbolizes the Philippines' dedication to its sovereignty. The CSAFP said the AFP will not allow China to dictate to us what we want to do in that post that has become a symbol of our dedication to our mandate as protectors of the people and the state and our commitment to our soldiers who are stationed there, Ailedo added. The Philippine Air Force aims to have at least three or four multi-role fighter squadrons after 2030 and another two or three light fighter squadrons. If the budget for the multi-role fighter acquisition program is to be used for Saab's Gripen, how can the cash-strapped Philippine government acquire and maintain the F-16 Fighting Falcon? The Saab Defense JAS-39 Gripen has emerged as the winner in the Philippine Air Force's multi-role fighter acquisition program. Some have expressed happiness that the last project that started at the opening of the AFP's Horizon 2 modernization program in 2018 has already reached its final phase. While Saab will do its best to meet the numbers, the multi-role fighter requirement can be met efficiently by two companies in a competition where one can provide good services to the Philippine Air Force. The JAS-39 is classified as the most reliable, swing-roll combat aircraft available in the world. 
The Swedish-made fighter requires minimal personnel and ground support equipment for dispersed operations and can operate from small, unprepared roads. It is also equipped with sophisticated radar, sensors, and weapons. The MRFs are expected to backstop the military's existing fleet of 12 South Korean-made Mach 1.5-capable FA-50PH light jet fighters. The requirements for the MRF project stipulate that the offered aircraft must be fourth generation or higher. The project also requires 12 MRFs at least capable of patrolling the country's protected waters and airspace. The MRF project is supposed to be part of Horizon 2 of the AFP modernization program slated for 2018 to 2022, which aims to acquire more equipment for external defense, but was pushed back for implementation due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic.